use it. I started filming this eyebrow tutorial because a lot of people have been asking me how I do my eyebrows. So I did it obviously on this side and I started and then I looked and watched the playback. It was blurry. So I had to redo it, but that's okay because this brow is closer to camera. So hopefully you will get the picture. Basically one brow is like the other. Um, so I'm just gonna jump into it. I never used to do my brows before I found um, Shadow Sense, um, which is made by Senegents. They are the company that makes Lip Sense, the amazing budge proof, smudge proof lipstick you all know I love. Um, and they actually had shadows and I didn't think I would get into all their other makeup because I already had tons of makeup, but Everyone was saying to try this on your brows because now that it's summer and you're sweating more or going into the pool, you're really going to want a waterproof product on your eyebrows. Otherwise, you're going to get out of the pool and half your brows going to be gone and you're just going to be a hot mess. So I started using Shadow Sense and actually doing my brows for the first time because they're not going anywhere. Once they're on, they're on and you really have to scrub to get them off. Um, it's not a pain to remove by any means. I just use um, a little bit of Meissler water when I take it off and it takes it right off but during the day it's going to stay put so I actually mix these two colors I use mocha java which is a beautiful mid-tone brown and onyx as you can see my hair is pretty dark like these are my roots and it's pretty dark and a lot of girls will just use this color which is garnet and it's a beautiful dark brown, which I really love for eyeshadow. However, it does have some red backlights to it. And so when I use it on my brow, it appears red and I'm just not a fan of warm tones on my brows. So I mix these two together. If you are blonde, you can totally just use Mocha Java straight up. Um, and then the darker brown colors, you can put more onyx or not. So. I use a little bit more onyx because my hair is pretty darn dark black, not black, but super dark brown. So I use Mocha Java and a Garnet to mix together. And so I'm just going to jump into the tutorial and show you how I do it on this side. I'm really sorry. I intended you to see it on both, but that's okay. So to start, um, as you can see, let me brush this out. My brows to begin with are decent. Um, you can see right here that it is pretty sparse through here and then like I don't have like a defined tail exactly and then right here is sparse as well, hence why I feel like I should pencil them in. Um, so just a little tip if you don't already know, your brow should start here. So if you line it up with your nose, the, t the tip, well this tip, the beginning of your brow should start there and then if you go diagonal like halfway in between your eye that's where the arch should be and then if you follow the end of your eye that's roughly where your eyebrow should end so just kind of keep that in mind the best thing for you to do to get the right shape for your brows for your face is just to go pay the money and get them waxed. Um, I really need to get mine waxed, but for the most part, I get mine waxed and it gives that great shape. Um, they can see better than you and they're trained experts so they know how brows should look. And depending on how your brows, they'll suggest growing out certain parts. Um, so I highly suggest going to get them waxed. That way you can just follow the shape and then you can pluck and wax on your own, but it's really important to get the initial shape right. Um, so that's my suggestion for you. Ugh, can't talk. So I'm going to mix the two colors now. So I just take a little bit of onyx. I think some of my onyx from my other eye might still be fresh. And I need to clean it, <laughs> forgive me, but there's the little dot of onyx. And then Mocha Java, just about like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover now so we can speed this bad boy up. 
Okay, I'm starting off with my amazing e.l.f. precision brush. It's amazing and it was only $5. So brush your brows out first. And then what I do is I mix Mocha Java and Onyx to get the color that I want. And I always start my brows by doing the outline of it first. So you can kind of see right here, the line is a little more harsh, but then I kind of take the product and pull it down or blend it into the bulk of my brow. That way I'm blending as I go and I don't get really harsh lines. And when I fill in my brows, they're not gonna be caked on. They're gonna be a little more light, a little more natural. Here you can see that example. I'm just pulling that color up to really blend it out. And then I get more product as I need. And then for the tail of my brow, I tend to use a little more onyx just because I really need to define that area of my brow because I have like no tail to my brow. So I tend to use more onyx, but in the front of my brow, I, you wanna really keep a light hand because if you put too much product on, that's when your brows start to look cartoonish in my opinion. Some people really like the drawn on look, but I was going for more natural. So with just thin strokes, I use mostly Mocha Java in the beginning of my brow. Like I said, just so it's a little more natural, there you see me pulling it up. And so it starts off lighter and then goes darker. And a little tip I picked up if you take a Q-tip and wet it slightly, you can manipulate the shadow scent still before it sets. And so I really use the Q-tip just to really make that point of my eyebrow the way I want it so it's not thick on the end. And once it sets, it's there and it's not going anywhere. And that's why I love shadow scents. It does not budge and it's waterproof. And here I am again using Shadow Scents in the shade Sandstone Pearl. You can use concealer to do this. You're just crisping up the line. It just helps everything look more sharp and defined if you use a little concealer or in this case, Shadow Scents. I like to use Shadow Scents under my brow because I use it as a primer and it helps my powders last so much longer. It's seriously so amazing. Now for the top of my brow, I'm going in with Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and just a pointed foundation brush. And I'm using the tiniest amount and just kind of, you can see it there a little bit better. Just carving out that brow even further on top. And then I'm going to set it in place with some clear eyebrow gel. This really helps me because I have more coarse hair and it helps just kind of mat it all down and make sure my crazy brows aren't going anywhere. So I highly suggest setting it. Okay, that is it for my brows. As always, um, you do not have to set your shadow sense ever with powder. In fact, I recommend not to do that. So you don't ever have to set it so you're good to go with your under eye. That's what I used anyways. Um, but because I used the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer on top, I'm going to want to set it with some powder, which I usually do before my clear brow gel, but you know, I forgot. Um, so right now I've been loving the Lorac Baked Perfecting Powder, the Pore Perfecting. Um, so I've been just using this baby, but any powder you have lying around will do. You just want to set it so it doesn't crease and kind of seep into your skin and it gives you a nice flawless finish. Anyways, I am going to roll into filming my next tutorial. And if you're curious what eye makeup look I'm going to do, I will tag that video down below. I hope this video was helpful to you. You obviously get into the groove with your brows and you can use any products you like. I just recommend the Shadow Sense if you're not wanting to fuss and you're not wanting to worry about if your eyebrows are going to come off or not, if you're swimming or sweating or whatever. Um, I highly recommend this product. Um, like I said before, I never really penciled in my brows. Um, I've tried tons of different pencils. They just have not worked for me the way I want them to until I started using this. But anyways, have a nice day and thanks for watching. See ya.